In the late 1800s, in the golden age of steel, workers in Pittsburgh would take a piece of meat with them to work and then put it on the steel as it came out of the hot furnace to cook it for their lunch. And I'm here to see if it actually works. Now, lunch on a normal day would probably be a ropey old sandwich, so I want to give these boys a lunch to remember. A proper steak sandwich cooked on the hot steel. Lunch. Lunch. I'm going to take my gloves off. Chef's tongs. Chef's tongs. These are cool oh, tools. Time to get cooking. Right, I'm going to need that. What I need you to do, come on, boss man, huh? is peel me. Just a few of these cloves of garlic. You can get it all grated on this little thing here. You like garlic? No. <laughs> In that case, I want extra. <laughs> first things first, the meat. Nicknamed black and blue because of its charred outside and rare inside, the Pittsburgh black and blue steak uses the cheaper tail end of the fillet, hammered out to about one centimetre thick. I'm going to cover my steak in a quick, fiery rub. These are dried chilli flakes. You like chilli? Yeah. 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 You're not into this cooking no, malarkey, no, no. are you? I'm a bit of a boiled egg man. Don't, a bit of a boiled egg man. Well, I'm hoping to convert you. Add in some salt, oregano and bay leaves. Stick it all in. A bit of mace, some garlic and some cracked black pepper. Chuck in some vegetable oil and give it a good mix and it's ready for frying. I'm cooking this on specially adapted steel. But take it from me, best not try this yourself. A frying pan will do the job. Now that is what I'm talking about, oh, boys. Yeah. So that, how hot is that right now? 800, you reckon, by 800 yeah. degrees. I think I'll leave the hot stuff to the experts, but I've got a crowd of hungry steel workers to feed, so this had better work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, that's yeah. the plate's big enough. Hopefully... Oh, my God, that looks... <laughs> OK, so we have fire. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> Smells oh, <no>. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. This is, like, the best cooking ever. <laughs> this has got to be better than a soggy sandwich. Yeah. I've got to be honest with you, this has worked out way better than I hoped it would. Black and blue steak. Tell me what you think. Get your chops around that. All right then, Andy, how is it? Yeah, is actually, it all right? Yeah, it is. It's better than all right. Well, I've won over the boiled egg, man. What about the other lads? I never thought I'd like raw, mate. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely incredible.